This video covers loans and amortization, a concept found in IB Maths AI in topic one, number and algebra, under the subtopic of financial mathematics. Okay, let's firstly talk about these types of loans. So these loans, uh, the most common example is a home loan. So uh, for example, I'm sure probably your parents potentially, or, or maybe uh, an adult that you know has taken a home loan out from a bank in order to buy a home. They probably didn't have all the money at the start to buy the house, so they take a home loan out. So the bank gives them money and then they repay it over time with interest. Other examples are car loans or maybe personal loans or business loans, any type of loan whereby you receive money from uh, a bank or, or some other financial institution and you repay it over time with interest. And just to be just to hit on one of these words that you that you are hearing and you might not understand, that process of making regular repayments over time with interest, that process is called amortization. So we have a loan and the process of repaying it is called amortization. Now I have this column chart here on the left hand side that represents just an example home loan repaid over 13 years. And I have it here and I wanna talk through it because I think it's very important to understand the difference in the repayment structures over time. So you can see here, each of these columns are made up of a, a regular repayment. So the whole repayment, which looks to be about say, $21,000 each year, and that's the whole regular repayments, is made up of a uh, component of paying down the actual money that you originally got from the bank, the 200,000, but also the interest in red. But you can see the trend over time, the interest amount actually goes down, and the actual repayment of the principal, that's the correct word here, the sort of original amount that you got from the bank is called the principal, that increases. And you may be wondering, well, why is that? Is, did the bank design that? But it's not, it's actually the underlying mathematics of, of the loan. So let's talk through that. In this first repayment here, so year one, you can see it's about an even split, about $10,000 worth of interest and about $10,000 worth of uh, repayments. And you're probably thinking, wow, that's a lot of interest. Well, the original loan amount was a large number, $200,000. Now, if you calculate interest on that, and I don't have the interest rate here because I don't want to get too sort of fixed down on the actual rate, but it, the interest on a large number is a large amount. So for example, 5% of 200,000 is about $10,000. But if you, if, you, if you paid a large amount of principal in year one, you probably can't hit the repayments. So the repayments are capped at a realistic amount. Let's say this to a sort of $21,000 amount, but the interest on the original principal is quite a large amount. Now, after you make the first repayment, let's go to year two, your, your balance is now less in terms of the loan that you need to give back to the bank. So therefore the interest amount on that remaining balance Thus, you might hear the phrase reduced balance loan. The interest on that outstanding balance is now less. So the interest over time as the balance is reduced will reduce. But because the repayments are fixed, the actual principal amount of repayment increases such that at, so at, such that at the end, the bank gets back their $200,000 plus interest as well. So that's why over time, the interest component decreases and the principal component increases. Okay, now that we have covered the concept of reduced balance loan, and, and just to recap, the process of paying it is called amortization. Let's go through a simple example here. There are a lot of different ways that these types of questions could be asked. So I recommend practicing a lot of these questions in the question bank, but let's just go through one example here and I'll show you how to solve it using the finance solver, otherwise known the, as the TVM solver on the calculator. Okay, so we have a $5,000 personal loan that has an annual interest rate of 8%, compounding monthly, that means the outstanding in, uh, the outstanding balance, the interest on that is calculated monthly uh, over two years. So this, let's say the bank gives um, this person, let's call this person, say Billy, a $5,000 loan. They want the money back. The bank wants the money back in two years plus interest as well. This question asks to find the monthly repayments that Billy needs to make such that their loan is repaid with interest. Okay, let's open up the calculator and put this into the finance solver. Okay, in this calculator here, the TI Inspire, we go menu, number eight, finance, 
number one finance solver. Now, I'm not gonna go through what each of these lines uh, mean uh, in detail because there's a separate video in this video series all about going in depth to what these lines mean. So I'm just gonna go through and input in the required information for this question. Now, N is the number of repayment periods. It's over two years, but it compounds monthly and the repayments are monthly, so therefore N is actually gonna be 24. There's 24 months in two years. The interest rate is eight. The present value, now you've got to be careful in this one, the present value, I like to think about it in cash flow terms. If I'm Billy, I'm receiving $2,000 at the start. That's a, sorry, $5,000. That's a positive amount. So this here is actually $5,000. Now this here, the payments per period, that's what we're trying to find out. So in the finance solver, we just leave that blank because that's what the calculator will actually give us. The future value will be zero because at the end of this personal loan, the outstanding value of the loan is now zero. It's all paid off. The payments per year will be 12 because there's 12 months in a year and the payments are monthly. And the compounding periods per year is also 12. We are told that it compounds monthly. Now this last one here, the question doesn't specify it, but uh, it's asking is the repayments made at the start or at the end of the month? Let's just assume that the repayments are due at the end of the month. That's probably most common for a personal loan. If it is at the start, the question will say it explicitly. So that's the end. We now drop our cursor back to this empty cell, hit enter, and you can see that the required monthly repayments that Billy needs to make is 226. And it's a negative number, because thinking about it from a cash flow perspective, Billy's giving back 226 or oh, out of his bank account bank to the back to the bank that gave him the loan to start with so this will be 226 dollars now just to just to check whether that's a realistic number i think it's good to do this check let's just check well if he repays 226 dollars every month for two years. So we multiply that by 24, 12 months in a year, so two years is 24 months. He's actually gonna repay back to the bank 5,424. Now he initially got the $5,000 loan, so this looks good. He gives back to the bank the $5,000 that the bank loaned him, and then also $424 of interest. So the bank will make $424 of interest on this loan, but it's also good for Billy because he might have used that to buy some sort of asset that his business makes money on, or potentially he needed a car, maybe it's a student loan. So it's kind of a win-win as long as Billy can handle the repayments. Okay, that is how loans work. So that concludes our video on loans and amortization.